In this video, we're going to learn about the HTML 3D entity. The HTML 3D entity has a lot of different capabilities, but in this video, we're going to learn how to use the uh, entity to create one, a scoreboard, and then also streaming video if you wanted to insert a YouTube video for instructional purposes. So in this video, we are going to learn about HTML 3D entity, the script component, creating a scoreboard, and streaming video. So let's get started. All right, here my, I'm in a scene that I have been uh, working on in the last several videos. Let's play our scene and to refresh our memories on what we have. I'm also going to filter my assets panel down to just behaviors. Makes it a lot easier because those are the things we're accessing the most. If I press the play button, this starts the game where we have a blue ball to start off with randomly. And then that drops, when that drops in, we get it now an orange ball randomly. One thing to note is you see how when the ball kind of repositions and starts at the top of the screen, it just kind of appears out of nowhere. You see that? What we want to do is we're going to add something to kind of make this a little look a little bit better and also a place to place our scoreboard. So right now, as you notice, the orange ball can fall into the blue ball or the bl orange blue ball can fall into the orange bucket, I should say. And the tilt behavior still happens either way. Every three that goes into a bucket at all, it tilts up a little bit. The table does. However, we want to now make a scoreboard so that when the ball successfully drops, so a blue ball into the blue bucket and an orange ball into the orange bucket, it's we get a score update on a scoreboard up above. So we're going to do two things. We're going to add a cylinder up here to cover up where the ball spawns, for lack of a better term. And then we're going to put the scoreboard on top of that. Um, additionally, we're going to use, that's going to be using an HTML 3D entity. We're also going to use an HTML 3D entity to create like an instructional video um, for users that uh, enter this scene for the first time. So let's actually start with that. It's a very simple thing to do. We go create entity and we find HTML 3D entity. Now it spawns or populates down here in the bottom. If I zoom in on this, the one that says this is HTML 3D. Let's rotate this. It's kind of hard to see because it's white on white, but we'll fix that in a minute. All right. And what you want to do is find a video, any video you want um, on YouTube or Vimeo or whatever streaming platform you want. And you got to have to grab the the embed code, the iframe embed code. The, to, to, ins, to insert into the HTML 3D entity. So what I did was I just made a sample instructional video. And what this says is, if you're wanting to use this scene, go ahead and press the play button and so on and so forth. So that's what this is. I just made this. So what I'm gonna do is then click share. And then I'm gonna find the embed and then I'm just gonna copy that embed. It's this iframe code up here. All right, so I have that copied to my Clipboard, I can, can get out of that. <clears throat> I'm going to open an editor now. So with the HTML 3D, three, HTML 3D entity selected, let's actually just rename it to video. And then we're going to open an editor. And this HTML that you have, just, cop, just replace all of that with the iframe that you grabbed from your online streaming service that you're using from their video. So then you gotta make sure you press save. Now we see this, that same video inside. But you notice it's cut off a little bit. That's because the transform values are all equal. So we can, we can ch change that a little bit if you want. You can even, we can go down. Let's just, yeah, let's just make that one. That probably works. All right, let's press play to test this out and see how it works. I'm gonna press play. Then I'm just gonna click on the video itself. Welcome to the Amazon Sumerian Training Simulator. To play the game, click the play button underneath the table, that is the green triangle. And once the ball starts rolling, move your buckets using your keyboard to get the orange bucket or the blue bucket to get, be positioned underneath the table. Good luck. Okay, and that's how you use the HTML 3D video to insert or embed videos 
whether it's uh, YouTube or Vimeo or whatever platform you choose, you can get that into your scene. Now remember, you can adjust the size and dimensions and everything like uh, according to your video and how big you want it to be. You can make this a lot bigger, a lot smaller, just using the transform videos or the transform values. Now to, re to review what we just did, we added an HTML video or HTML 3D entity. We, we changed the name to video. Then I opened up the editor, the, that's the text editor available in Sumerian. And I just copied and pasted the iframe code that I grabbed from this video and, pu and put it in there. There's nothing else other than that. And then I clicked save and there it appeared and I adjusted the transform values. So that's how you do a streaming video. The next thing we wanna do is create a scoreboard for successful drops, meaning a blue ball into a blue bucket or an orange ball into an orange bucket. So how do we do that? Let's start by adding a cylinder, as I mentioned before, up in the location to kind of hide the spawning or the respawning of the ball. So I just added a cylinder and I'm gonna move this up to, I believe it's four and four on the translation values. I do wanna rotate it down this way, it doesn't Really matter, it could be positive or negative. And let's change the, so it kind of blends in with the walls. Let's change the color to be, let's just make it black. There we go, so it stands out. So now what will happen is the ball will just kind of drop out of there as if it's, you know, being produced from within the cylinder. All right, the next thing we wanna do is add another HTML 3D entity. And we are going to move this, this entity up to some more specific location or more specific values. Uh, we'll just do 3.3, 4, 0, negative 90. And we want to make it 0 0.4, 0 0.4, and one. Z value got changed a little bit. I don't want to do Z, so we'll just go back. All right, so now we have it's, if you look at it, it's just just in front of this board. We can move it back or in front of the cylinder. Something like that. Okay, now remember if you, we, at the very beginning of this tutorial, we said, or this tutorial series, there's an asset pack to download. There's a few materials in there, a few scripts, a few HTML, uh, some HTML code that we need to copy and paste. So make sure you open up those materials and you grab the score script for the scoreboard. That's the first thing we're going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and copy or copy, copy this script. Now on the HTML, where did it go? There it is. Blends right in most of the time. HTML 3D entity. I'm going to call this score board. All right. Now I'm going to add a component and we need to add a script entity. I don't have any scripts really in this scene, so I'm going to add script by pressing the plus button and we just want a custom script now here's an instance of the script we need to edit it so we hit the edit button that is the pencil icon and we get this generic template for a script i'm going to delete everything that's in here and just add in the script that we you we provided in that asset pack now what is happening here is that it is, this is going to be communicating with the HTML entity to which this is attached. And every time it, it hears the, every time the listener into bucket is emitted in the state machine and, and it matches the orange. If you remember, we had a few videos ago, we had, we added a action that, that executed a script expression. And I was saying that in that instance, that action is emitting out into Sumerian that the, the, it is truly an orange ball. So when the, 
this orange matches into bucket, when these happen together, we're going to update the script. We're going to update the scoreboard. Conversely, when into blue bucket matches blue, so when that is emitted and it lines up with this also being emitted, it's going to say, oh, wow, this was an actually, a, it was went into the blue bucket. It was a blue ball. Therefore, we're going to update the scoreboard. So that's what this script is doing. And it's communicating with the scoreboard script. So if you go over here in your documents, so by adding an HTML 3D entity and we change the name to scoreboard, we are, it, it automatically adds this script or this HTML um, code here. Now what I want to do is all I need to grab is the, the HTML that we provide in that asset pack and add this. And this, these two things are working together, the scoreboard and the score script, which I really want to name, rename this score script and then click save. I accidentally copied something I didn't want. So there are no errors. So my, this doesn't really matter, but my scoreboard has been saved. My score script has been saved. My scoreboard HTML 3D entity has been saved. And now what we see up here is this scoreboard. I'm gonna press play. If I wanted to get some instructions, I could press the video play button. We'll just go ahead and start. All right, so the that blue ball spawns out of the cylinder, lands in the blue bucket, and there we go. I get one. It updates to one. an orange now let's see if we put an orange ball in a blue bucket ah we do not get and we'll do it again we don't get an update on the scored now the table will continue to tilt because that's not that's not looking at whether or not the the blue the color of the ball matches the bucket that it is supposed to be entering into that behavior has really nothing to do with it. However, the scoreboard is looking at that. So to review, let's look at that again. To open up this, the text editor that we were just looking at, I'm going to tools and then I'm finding the text editor here. That'll open it up. Let's look at the score script. So remember, there's a, within the function, we have the function set up uh, within our script. The into bucket orange, when that is emitted in our from one of our behaviors, and this orange script expression is also emitted, it's going to update the scoreboard with one. It's going to add one to the scoreboard. Similarly, into bucket blue, when it registers that that has been emitted and that the ball is defined as blue here through the script expression, it's going to uh, update the, the HTML 3D entity also with one. So we'll just keep adding onto that scoreboard so you can see how far you get. Now it does get a little more complicated the faster you go because the the table continues to tilt. And that is all that we are going to be doing in this video for using HTML 3D entity, but that is how you use a scoreboard and also add a HTML 3D entity to have an instructional video if you wish, or just had a stream video within a Sumerian scene. Thanks for joining us, and I hope you stick around for the next video.